Fulham are definitely the biggest yo-yo club in England. All they do is spend their time going up and down and up and down and that's about it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take Fulham and not only keep them in the Premier League but we're going to even win them the Champions League. Let's get to work. So as you guys can see this is the squad we're dealing with. We're going to have to do some work here. I did change the formation to a 4-3-3. I just think that having a deep DM and playing Carvalho in a camp position for the team is going to make the team a lot stronger. The only problem with this team so far is we need a center back on that left side. Reem is too old and I'll be honest, he looks weird. <laughs> Let's get ourselves a center back. Now the budget we have here is 24 million pounds with a decent wage budget as well. So we're going to sign some decent players this window. So the first player we're going to go ahead and sign is Trevor Chalaba. Let's throw in a 10 million pound offer. And look at that. We sealed the deal for just 10 and a half million. Super good. What a good price. Only scary thing is he is on big wages, but I think he should take 40k. So they accepted 36,000 and a little bit of a signing bonus. So not a bad overall. As you guys can see, the team's immediately looking way better than it was before. And we still of 13 million to splash. So the next player we're going to go ahead and try to sign here is Ryan Cherky. Now you might be saying, why would Ryan Cherky want to come to a club like Fulham? Well, let me tell you why. Not only is it almost guaranteed that Fulham will get promoted to the Premier League next season, but the thing is, is in real life, Ryan Cherky just came out of hospital and he did just have his ACL done. And he's actually not playing that much game time other than some coming off the bench for Leon. Leon's a bit too competitive right now, but if we put him in our Fulham team, he'll be the main man. And there we go. We signed Ryan Cherky for just seven and a half million pounds. I'll be honest, he's only 17, so we're probably only going to give him about 10k a week, but when I say 10k, it's like he's 17, bro. What's he going to do? Go to McDonald's and just buy a bunch of Big Macs for the school. Let's give him a nice signing on bonus there. You know, maybe get him a car or something. <laughs> there you go. He accepts that. Let's go, Cherky. As you guys can see, that's the new updated team that we have going on. Much improved, way better than we had before. The only downside is we only have six million left to spend, so what I'm thinking is that maybe we can raise some funds through some sales and then keep the remaining amount of money for January to see if we need to make any improvements. Holy guys, I swear I didn't forget to mention this, but we have a 73 rated 17 year old that plays center mid in our youth scout and I didn't even realize till now. I'm so stupid. He's only five foot five though. Listen, there's nothing wrong with dwarfs. We can have a few dwarfs in our team. No, no minding me. And there we go. I'm not going to lie. Roberts definitely gets straight on the bench there with 80 passing, 90 curve and 82 crossing with 77 free kick accuracy at 17. <laughs> Disgusting! He's going to be a bit of a rotational player this year for sure. I don't think he's good enough to just throw him right in, especially since our captain and one of our best rated players is Kearney. Oh my God. Guys, we have a huge decision to make. I just got an offer for Mitrovic for 22 million pounds. Now, I know he's the main man at Fulham and Fulham fans love him, but 22 million pounds, as well as all the money I've accrued, we'd have 50 million pounds in the transfer budget. I think we have to sell him. Yeah. After the sale of Mitrovic, we have managed to raise 51 million pounds. I'll be honest, I think it was kind of worth it and you'll see why now. We have just signed one of Belgium's hottest prospects, De Ketteler. He's 20 years old. We paid his release clause of 32 million pounds. He's going to be the main man for us. He's six foot four. He's strong. He can pass. He can dribble. He's basically like a Van Dyke, but just a striker version. And also with that signing of 32 million, we still have 18 million left for January, guys. This is what the new squad is looking like as well. And as you can see, we still have decent squad depth even though we got rid of most of the deadwood. Now it's time to skip to January, see where we are in the league, see if we need to make any improvements and check out how our players are actually doing in terms of stats. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're in January and as you can see, Fulham are in first with 54 points. Sheffield are on our backs, but let's be honest, the top two get instant promotion and third place is 10 points behind us. And as you can see, Wilson is leading the lines with 14 goals and seven assists in 28 games, which is really good. And Dekettler right behind him with 11 goals and two assists in 20 games. So he's crushing it as well. New signing, new to the league. I didn't have extremely high hopes for him at the start. I was kind of just like, let's see how he does. But I'm actually really proud. He's he's getting like more than a goal every two games. And our top assist is Wilson. And Robert's not far behind him as well. Actually crushing it. Two goals and seven assists and 19 appearances. Most of those are probably off the bench as well. So good stuff to him. And as you guys can see here, the budget is 19 million. So basically 20 million with the wage budget and all that. And this is what the team looks like. Now, as you guys can see, this is actually Zambo. And I can't say his 
his last name. This ain't it, Chief! He was on loan to Napoli, but I checked the squad and he was actually getting zero games. And by that, I mean he played zero games. So I recalled him because I was like, I may as well bring him into the team. He's 79 overall. I can actually throw him into the first team. So as you guys can see, this is what the new updated team looks like. It's actually getting better and better. This is Premier League ready, to be honest. Just a few signings and it's Premier League ready. Let's go to the end of the season and see how we do. All right, guys, we're at the end of the season. And not only did we win the league, but we absolutely demolished them. We had 107 points, absolutely clear of the rest of the teams. We only lost five games the entire season in a 46 games played league. We also managed to get to the round of 16 for the FA Cup. We lost 3-0 to Everton, which is not a good thing. And as you can see, Wilson with an absolute pop-off season, 28 goals and 11 assists in just 52 games as a right winger. Also, De Kettler coming right behind, 19 goals in 41 games. As I said, in the championship for his first season, a goal every two games is pretty good. Calavaro just behind him as well with 18 goals in 46 games. And then our top assister, the 18-year-old Roberts with 13 assists and 5 goals in 40 games. I can tell this guy is going to be a special talent. I just have one question. What does that taste like? That tastes like promotion! Yeah! Alright guys, we're in the Premier League now. It's the big boy leagues. As you guys can see, we were slapped with a budget of just under 65 million. That should be enough to do for the first season with some outgoings. As you guys can see, this is what the updated squad is looking like. It's pretty good, but we can do some improvements. Primarily in the fullback positions. I signed 11 million pound Florenzi, the 31 year old from Milan. He's only getting paid 38 grand a week, so he's pretty cheap on the wages. And he'll add a lot of experience to a young team. And over time, he can become a rotational player. But for this season, as a 79 rated, very experienced fullback, he'll add so much to the team. Plus his contract expired in 12 months. So I said, hey, he's cheap. Let's get him. The other fullback that I wanted to go for in the left back position was Bernat from PSG. He's small, he's quick, he's very good on the ball, he's progressive, and that's what we want in our team. He also was relatively cheap, coming in at 16 million pounds. Just like Florenzi, he's 29 years old, which means that he has a lot of experience to give us, and trust me, he still has a way to go in his prime. And the next player that we signed for this window, and probably the last, Kepa Aritha Balaga, one of the hottest prospects a few years ago, and sure, he's had a few bad seasons. You have to remember that even under Sarri, he was one of the best goalkeepers in the league, and it was that one bad season under Frank Lampard, and it was all due to his confidence. Since Tuchel's came in at Chelsea, we've seen him be so good for them in the cup games and the penalty shootouts. And let's be honest, as much as we like to clown him, he is proven in the Premier League. Plus, we only got him for 28 million pounds, and he's looking for more game time anyway, so it was a no-brainer. Plus, he gets to stay at home, he doesn't even have to pack. Now, with all those signings, this is what the new updated team is looking like. Very strong team, if I do say so myself. Now, if I'm being honest, we're broke. It's pretty bad. Let's see if there's any good offers that come in for any players. All right, guys, this is the squad we're dealing with right now. It's an insane squad, let's be honest. I actually decided to go with no outgoings because this is my belief. It's the Premier League and you need all the squad depth that you can get. Plus our squad's not even that huge. So I think we can keep all the players because we probably need them. Let's sim to January and see how the team does. All right, guys, we're in January now. And as you can see, Fulham are in seventh place in the league, which is actually insane. My goal was really mid-table, see if we can even make a push for like 10th, 9th. But I didn't think Europe was possible. Now that I know it is, really my goal is going to be to stay in 7th and get Conference League football. I think that would be amazing for our squad. Plus the money. I'll be honest, the only bad thing about this window so far is Ryan Cherky has submitted a transfer request. He's not getting enough play time and his contract's poopy in his opinion. So he's on the transfer list and he's going to be going this summer. We're going to need to replace him. We have just received a 30 million pound offer for Ryan Cherky and I just accepted it. Even if if it is Spurs, they're not our direct competitor anyway. It's not a big deal. Look at you, you floppy twat. Oh my god! Oh Alright guys, so the player that I decided to replace Cherky with is Popescu. Now, I signed the 20-year-old for just about 30 million, which is what I sold Cherky for, so basically a direct replacement. So this is the new updated squad. We do have some injuries which I've taken care of, but, you know, I feel like if we can maintain 7th, it's gonna be tough because of the injuries, but if we can maintain 7th, I'll be pretty happy with that. Alright guys, so we're at the end of the season, as you can see, we actually managed to keep our exact same spot, 7th place, which is conference football. Look how tight that table was, though. Between the range of 6 
60 points and 50 points, it was from 6 to 11. That's crazy. So our top goal scorer was De Ketelaire with 23 goals in 43 games. I told you, he's a goal in every two games kind of player. He also got himself some assists this season with eight assists. Wilson having an okay season again, but not as good as last time. Roberts getting some assists like last time. Not as good as the championship, but then again, he's only 19. He'll start kicking in a little bit more next season. And this is what our team's looking like now. It's actually a pretty solid team. I'd say the only thing we need now is a bit of stability and maybe one or two world-class signings to push us into that top four conversation. Let's go to the next season, Brev. Snap out now on all digital platforms, Brev. All right, guys, so we're in season three now. And as you can see, we do have a bit of a stinky budget. I'm not going to lie. There might need to be some outgoings this summer. All right, guys, so I ended up signing just one player this window, Tagliafigo, for 19 million. His contract ended in 11 months, so it was pretty much a steal. And I think we needed some depth in that area of the field. Problem is, is we weren't given much of a budget, only 50 million. So we only have 30 million left, which is not enough to sign any world-class signings. And we didn't get any offers for any people that we can replace and maybe grow the team a little bit more. So what we're going to do is stick it out, let the players develop and develop more chemistry together a little bit more. And then if we need to sign anybody in January, we will. All right, guys, so we're in January. And as you guys can see, we are in sixth place with 32 points, which is very consistent. Now, me personally, I'd love to make a push for top four, but I'll be honest, I'd accept Europa League for this next season just because you look at that top four and it's like, are we on that level yet? Are we really? We don't really have that many world-class players yet. Yes, we have good chemistry and a solid team, but we do not have world-class players in yet. So I'd hope to make Europa League right now. And as you guys can see here, the Ketelaire has done it again, man. Like 17 goals and seven assists in 32 games. I've told you this from the start. He's not going to score zero goals and he's not going to score a thousand goals. He'll score one goal in every two games and get a few assists in there as well. He's a solid, consistent man is what he is. I'll be honest, I'm pretty happy with this squad right now and we don't have that much money. So it's not like we had an option to, you know, change the squad if we wanted to. So I think we're going to stick with the squad right now, see if we can finish out, in the, you know, maybe top four. Let's see what happens. And then next season, get a signing or two in world-class signings, maybe to push us into that winning the league title. All right, guys. So we're at the end of the season. And as you can see, we're in the final of the conference league. We're going to do a quick sim here and see if we can actually win it. So let's go. Are we going to win it? It is sporting. They are good. Let's see. No choking here, you know what I'm saying? So we win the Conference League, which is sick, man. Look at that. It actually looks weird seeing Fulham in the Conference League. And as you guys can see here, we did come sixth in the league, which gives us a spot in the Europa League, which is sick. It's what I wanted. Step up from the Conference League. 29 goals in 59 games is almost exactly half of the amount of goals to game ratio. One goal every two games. I'm telling you, it's undefeated. And he got 12 assists as well. Wilson also having a pretty good season. And then, you know, it was mainly these five guys popping off. Let's go to next season, make a push for the Champions League and you know even maybe win the Europa League. All right guys so we're on season four now and as you guys can see our budget's a little bit better than last time 70 million definitely not enough to make some world star signings though so we're gonna have to do some outgoings this season for sure. All right guys this is our new team and you might be like where is De Ketelaire? Well I'm sorry to say boys but we sold him. I know I know relax. Relax. We sold him because we were offered 260 million for him and this is what our new budget looks like. All right guys this is our new updated um where did all the money go? Well, I spent it all on one player. Drum roll, please. Ah! Killian Mbappe. Yes, we signed him on a five-year deal for, I don't know, roughly around 330 million. Lads, he's 95 overall and he's only 25 years old. And if you're like, this is a, supposed to be a realistic Rebuild with. Listen, we have 360 million in the bank. We're a Europa League team. He wants a Premier League move. <sighs> Why not get him? And for the last signing in the window, I decided to sign Amon Diallo for just, you know, 14 million or so. 76 overall, super good. Sign him on a four-year contract. I also forgot to mention before, we signed Gavardiol for 86 million because we actually sold uh, Wilson as well. You probably didn't see that, but we did sell Wilson as well. Let's go to January now and see how well this team does. All right, guys, so we're in January right now. And as you guys can see, we're in fifth place in the league, which is pretty decent. We're looking for that top four spot. It's very hard to break into though, especially 
especially with the team we have. Let's see if we can do it. And as you guys can see, we got ourselves a proper striker here. Three assists and 22 goals in just 27 games. I told you we needed that upgrade just to start smashing in the goals. Let's see if we can get top four in the league and even maybe win the Europa League. All right, guys, so we're at the end of the season. And as you can see, we made a massive jump. We came second in the league, which is actually pretty ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. We also went to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. And then, yes, boys, we won the Europa League. I forgot to quick sim it for you lot, but against Juventus as well, that's a big win. So we won the Conference League first try, the Europa League first try. Now we're in the Champions League. Can we win the Champions League first try? And as you guys can see here, I told you, 60 games, 39 goals and 10 assists. Sure, it's not a goal a game, but I'm telling you, he is contributing. It's his first season in the Prem. I know he's 96 rated. He should probably be getting a goal a game, but like 12 goals and 15 games of the Europa League. He is doing well, guys. So next season, I'm hoping for a goal a game kind of figure. All right, guys, we're in the next season here. I think this is season six now or five, one of the two. And look at the budget now. That's Champions League football for you there. We get a big budget and that's enough money to sign like one superstar. All right, guys. So the first player I decided to sign here was Teo Hernandez. He only had 12 months left on his contract. So we got him for cheap. He's 89 overall, 27 in his prime. And we only paid 90 million for him. It's a steal in my opinion. He's quick. He's a, he's progressive. He's going to smash it. I'm not going to lie. All right, guys, for the next signing, I decided to go with Tino Livermento. He's 22 years old now. And he was at Union Berlin. Actually, he wasn't actually at Southampton. We actually got him for a cheap price of 45 million. He's 81 overall now. And I think he has the potential to go up and up and up from that 81 overall. He's attacking just like Teo Hernandez and he's quick just like Teo Hernandez. So we're going to throw him in there, put Florenzo on the rotation with him. And I think we have a complete team now. All right, guys, this is what the team's looking like right now. As you can see, very good, high potential. It could win the Champions League this year. Not too sure. We did win the other two European competitions first try. So why not the Champions League as well? And yeah, guys, we're just going to go to January real quick, see where we are in the league, see how all the players are doing and let's go. All right, guys. So we're midway through the season now. And as you can see, we're top of the league in mid January. Now United are on our tails, but if you look at the league form, we've only lost one game in 20 games. It's pretty ridiculous. We're almost on track to do a hundred point season right now. If you also look at who's top goal scorer, it's Mbappe with 18 goals in 20 games in the Prem. If he keeps this form up, he might break Mo Salah's 32 goal record. He's also up there for the assist chart too. This guy's just ridiculous. But this is the overall numbers, 24 goals in 30 games. That's including Champions League, Carabao Cup, FA Cup games too. And everybody else is smashing it as well, if you look at it. I don't think we needed any signings, so let's go to the end of the season. I really do think we could do some big things this year. All right, guys, we're at the end of the season, and finally, we have made it to the Champions League final. Let's go simulate that. Okay, here we go, boys. All right, guys, I just got to pause to let you know the gameplay is kind of messed up. Look at this. I cannot show you this. This is this is stupid. My bad. I messed up the file in the recording. Please forgive me, Daddy. Whoa! Droid, Papa Scoo. Let's go, oh, Papa Scoo. What? We won the league. We won the Champions League. Did we do a treble? But that's gonna sum up the video, boys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys like and subscribe. The video is done, Beth.